Hey, I got a great news for you guys. Today, Bootstrap team has just released the last beta 3 of Bootstrap 5. So it's newest version of Bootstrap. Bootstrap 5 beta 3 and the last beta version, which means we are just a very tiny step far from the stable release. So if you would like to know what has changed in the newest version and when to expect the stable version, keep watching. Okay, so as I mentioned, Bootstrap has just released its latest beta 3 version. What has changed? What are you going to find in it? Well, to be honest, not that much, which is very good news. And if you're watching my previous videos, you've seen and you heard from me for sure that Bootstrap 5 is already very, very stable product. So I really can't wait uh, for Bootstrap team to release the stable version because I'm pretty sure it's going to be game changer. But let's quickly go through and see what you can expect from the newest version. So Bootstrap team uh, add some new component. It's called Off Canvas. Um, I think it's very handy. So it works like this. So it's a tiny menu. You can you can basically slide from a side and then you can hide it. So I think it's going to be very, very useful in many examples. Other than that, um, new and refreshed examples. So I strongly encourage you to check them as you're going to see a lot of predefined um, examples which are ready to use. So you can just, you know, grab them and, and, and just use them in your project. As you can see, they're really, really nice. Um, and just a couple of uh, more now, it's something called a hero. So um, yeah, they, they are just great, right? And if you're building your landing page, you can just you can just use them right away. And the same for uh, for uh, for uh, headers and so on. Um, what else we have here? Mm, there are some minor changes in the documentation. As always, documentation is very important uh, for any project, and quite some. Uh, changes, updates, bug fixes, but rather tiny ones, um, which you can find uh, here in the latest blog post. Mm, I'm not going to go through all of them. Obviously, there are some changes to RTL, which has been released recently. Uh, so the support for the right to left, a new parcel guide and some fixes related to the upgrading to the popper 2.0 version. But again, guys, these are tiny changes. They are not breaking changes, which means and which lead, leads us to the conclusion that this is very, very stable product. And talking about it, what's next? Very important question. As you can see, Bootstrap team is aiming to release stable version. Yeah, finally, you heard that stable version. That's really, really amazing. Bootstrap 3 has changed the way we are building websites. Bootstrap 4 was amazing. Um, upgrade to it. And Bootstrap 5 is a real game changer. No jQuery. A lot of uh, things which you can uh, use and just, just using data attributes or a plain JavaScript. You can still use jQuery if you really like it or you love to. But if you don't want to use jQuery, you can, you're going to be using JavaScript. And as a result, that's going to be much more robust and, and much more flexible and very, very, very efficient as the code is just much smaller. If you haven't played with Bootstrap 5 before, I strongly encourage you to check our tutorial. You're going to link, find the link somewhere here or there in the description down below for sure, uh, where you're going to find one, one and a half hour crash course on a Bootstrap 5, so the newest one. Stay tuned. And for sure, uh, we're going to let you know. Don't forget to subscribe our channel because then you're going to get the notification and we will notify you when the Bootstrap 5 stable release going to be released for sure. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.